In this video, I will explain how to multiply a monomial by a polynomial. If you see a problem like this and you're asked to simplify this, this grouping symbols actually means that negative 2y squared should be multiplied by the entire expression 3y to the fourth plus 2y, uh, 2wy cubed minus 7. What that means is that you're going to multiply this by every term inside this grouping symbol. So to remove the grouping symbol here, because that's the way to simplify, remove all, them, all of the grouping symbols. But to do that, you have to apply the distributive property of multiplication. So negative 2y squared will be multiplied by every term. That's what the distributive property allows you to do. Now, when you're multiplying them, please remember the rules in multiplying rational numbers or the rules in multiplying integers. I do have a video about that. Please check that out. It's called multiplication and division of um, integers because we will follow the multiplication rules in this kind of situation. Why? Because when you're multiplying um, terms even with variables, you are going to pay attention to the signs and you will follow the rules of multiplying integers. So here we have negative 2y squared times 3y to the fourth. That's negative 2 times 3. So that's negative 6. And then the y squared and the y to the fourth have the same base. Therefore, we're going to copy their common base and we're going to add their exponents. Okay? That's one of the laws of exponents. When you're multiplying um, uh, two quantities with the same basis, what you need to do is you copy that common base and you add their exponents. So copy the common base, which is y, add their exponents, 2 plus 4 is 6. Now, we're going to repeat that same procedure. Negative 2y squared, this time multiplied by 2wy to the third power. So negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. There's no w here, but there's w here. We'll just copy that. These both have y, so we'll copy the common base and add their exponents. So that's going to be 4wy to the fifth. We'll repeat the same procedure, but this time we will multiply this by the last term. So negative 2 times negative 7 is positive 14. This one is a y squared. This one has no variable attached to it, so we'll just simply write y squared. There are no like terms, therefore this is already simplified. This is already the final answer. I hope that helps. For any comments and suggestions, questions, please leave your comment in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and I hope this video helps you.